Hello, everybody. Welcome to another mile with me, Joel Heitkamp, here at KFGO.com. Uh, today on my show, we were talking a little bit about uh, a press release that went out from Democratic leadership in the North Dakota legislature. They're calling for Representative Rand Kelsch to resign as committee chair of her seat, longstanding, it might be added, that she's been chairman of the House Education Committee. Why? Well, because she and her husband haven't paid their taxes. They didn't file tax returns uh, forms for a number of years. They have a lien against them from the North Dakota Tax Department of over 300 and some thousand dollars. Um, full disclosure here, Rand Kelsch is my friend. She always has been. You've heard her uh, if you're a frequent listener of News and Views guest host for me. And I hope to have her do it again sometime. Uh, her husband, as pointed out by her, uh, went through cancer treatments, has and is dealing with some depression issues, uh, but she made no excuses. When she was on with me, she said, you know, it was my job to make sure these uh, were filed just as much as what it was his. Some people took it as though she was throwing her husband under the bus. I didn't. I didn't. I think that she, had, you know, took this thing head on. Do I feel that she should have to resign as chairman of the committee? Well, it goes further than that. Many of the listeners today pointed out that they felt she should have to resign as a state representative. That when you're not paying your taxes and you're the one that makes tax law, that really you have no right to be a state representative anymore. Uh, for me personally, I know what the Republican Party under its current and former leadership was like. They attacked a good friend of mine, Mike Every, when he fell behind on his child support payments. They made and forced him uh, to resign. They, they, believe me, if Joel or Heidi Heitkamp didn't file their taxes, uh, they'd go to their good friends uh, at Forum Communications and make sure it's a above-the-fold story uh, in, in the newspaper. You know they would. And so I think the Democratic Party actually took a, kind of a wishy-washy, kind of wimpy stand on this. Even though Ray is my friend, if I were them, I would have called for her to resign her house seat. I, I do believe that my good friend needs to get her life back in order. And I don't think you can do that under the watchful eye of the public. She has a wonderful family good people, uh, great kids that support her, and, and hopefully her husband gets back to a place where, you know, they, they can be that great family I've always known them to be. And I think she can do it best with it being out of the public eye. So for her sake, I, I, I do hope she steps away from politics for a while. She can always run again. She's done a good job for the people of her district, and I think they'd vote for her again. But you watch. When the political attacks come, they're going to come from her side way more than what they're going to come from my side. The big question of the day for you is, do you think she should resign? Your thoughts. I'm always curious to know them here at KFGO.com. It's been good riding with you folks.